Are you ready? For? What do you mean for what? Our anniversary dinner. Let's postpone it. I'm tired. I still got a lot of work to do. It's been two weeks. We're postponing that dinner, Noah. We'll go tomorrow night. One day is not going to make any difference. And then you'll postpone it tomorrow. And then the day after. Have you lost interest in me? Get your eyes off that damn screen. I'm talking to you. The least you can do is acknowledge that. Why are you going crazy? Yeah, no, I may be crazy. Crazy thinking that my husband, for once, will take his eyes off that screen and pay attention to me. We've been planning that dinner for a long time now, Noah. Why are you getting so upset? All I said is that I was tired. We'll go to dinner tomorrow. You're always tired. I work too. I have a nine to five job. I come home. I handed everything in here. Did you ever bother asking what I really want? What do you want? Just one night. One night for us to go out, have dinner, and have some good time. That's all that I want. But I guess it's too much to ask. That's unfair. I work and I work hard. I'm human just like you. I'm not some random guy that has to live up to your expectations. What expectations? I've never expected anything from you. If you commit to something, stick to it. All I said that I was exhausted. What do you make provision for what I want? You are making it's not about nothing. you. It's not what about me, it's about us. It's a picture. Whoa, you're bringing us now? You're over-exaggerating no, this. No, 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 no. It's always about you. Admit it, Noah. It's never us. Yes, I'm exhausted. We've been planning this for a long time. I didn't know that. I'm not fighting with you. I can't take this you anymore. This. You're driving me completely crazy. Wait. You have to let go of your expectations. I'm not here to live up to them. I'm here to give you a good life. What? Well, don't want that anymore. This is ridiculous. We love each other. You love me? Yeah. When you say you love me, make sure it's not coming out of that. Where are you going? Out. Great. Yes, no items. When? I got called by my wife. What's her name, sir? Julie. Julie Adams. Julie Adams, is that your wife? Yes. Uh, I looked at some time ago for a very severe head injury and uh, we moved her to the operation theater. But I would suggest we get to the
first date. I was so nervous. And you could tell. You just took my hand, looked at me, didn't say a word. It's the first time I felt peace. All night we danced, all night to Elvis. And the time we waited for takeaways that never came. So we raided our fridge, which was empty anyway. And just threw something together. It tasted amazing. Probably because we were starving. Day at the beach, you were wearing that white dress that you said was your mother's. And I said that you'd ruin it and dirty it by wearing it to the beach. And that's so beautiful. That's what I should have said to you. Somebody with a heart like that. I know I I know I say I love you out of habit sometimes. But it doesn't mean that I don't mean it as much as it time. I'm sorry, Julie. I'm really sorry. Let's start again.